Well, Texas did it. They pushed both me and my partner to become permanently sterilized. We have appointments this month to get a vasectomy and bilateral salpingectomy. My last pregnancy was horrible with a month stay in the hospital due to preeclampsia. I cannot even risk a tubal because an ectopic pregnancy most likely wouldn't be treated where I am. Pisses me off that this choice is the only one I have. Enrages me that so many women don't have this choice. Or, any other. Also a Texan who got sterilized I only have my ovaries left along with my husband who got a vasectomy. It has given me so much peace of mind and I'm thankful for my doctor every day. To those who aren't in TX and are asking OP why she isn't leaving the state none of us are safe. Anywhere until we're all safe everywhere. France is lighting their country on fire cause they pushed retirement back to is Texas doing to repeal this act of violence on women? Probably a good thing to do it now before that too becomes illegal. From what I gather this is way too much bodily autonomy for Texas. Getting in the way of God's plan. This whole forcing PPL to have kids is backfiring spectacularly. Good. Wisconsin here. Our laws reverted back to 1849 when Roe fell. I so feel you about the fear of ectopic pregnancy and not being treated. I have my bilateral salpingectomy scheduled for Tuesday after I found out one of the tubal ligation. Clips I relied on for 10 years fell off. Absolutely unacceptable and I will not risk anything in the current political and healthcare environment. Yeeting these tubes before they try to take that right as well. Best of luck with your procedures. Fellow Texan here. Hubby and I both got snipped too. We live in a very unsafe area where my chances aren't super good at just a vasectomy being the only form of birth control that would be safe. I went for an endometrial ablation too while I was at it. The CO2 hurts worse than the sterilization and honestly being able to finally just rest without that in the back of my mind is in my opinion absolutely worth it. I actually feel safer now. I'm sorry this happened to you. Remember to vote out anyone who is not fighting for your best interests. This has pushed me to try and IUD again. I need the hormones to control some medical issues. A full hysterectomy would cure those medical issues. But bring on a whole new set that I'm not ready for at 31. We have TRICARE so as long as federal law doesn't prevent birth control. Emergency contraceptive. And non-elective abortions we are safe. If any while are in central Virginia. I know an ob gin that'll do bilateral salpingectomies. They did mine at 29 unmarried and no kids and I know they've done younger. We've been waiting since Roe was overturned for my husband to get a SNP consult. Finally got in and he's scheduled for June 29th. Can't wait to be able to breathe a little easier. At least for myself for right now. Lot of states are rushing to go third world. And that's always a dangerous place to live. It legitimately stuns me that the US has now reached the point where you either have to move part way across a continent or accept surgically imposed physiological changes in the name of reproductive autonomy. Land of the free my ass. Op. You have my infinite sympathies. It's a terrible position to be cornered into. Can we all join together to sue the government to hell? I'm so sorry you guys are living in this hellscape. My heart goes out to you. An ectopic pregnancy most likely wouldn't be treated where I am. Wait. 
what happens to women with an ectopic pregnancy. Then, they, they just die. Why not leave Texas? My federal job skill code is usually only offered in a handful of southern states. Or in central California, where I can't afford to rent or buy housing. I have 20 years towards retirement but I'm not old enough to retire. I need my health insurance due to a family member having a serious health condition that would likely be considered a pre-existing condition if I went to another employer. So, I, like a lot of people, am stuck here. Please stop saying just move. Like that didn't fucking occur to us. It's 100 horse shit that a bunch of old white dudes get to make decisions about women's health. They should NT even get a vote. X200B. As a male feminist. This shit makes me so fucking angry for my daughter. Arkansas here and I'm 95 sure I'll be following in your footsteps soon. My partner has a consultation for a vasectomy in a few weeks as well. If it's any solace. It's mostly white people who get tie opportunity to sterilize as a precaution. The state will be full of color in a generation or two which they fear even more than women's rights. Got my bi salp last October. Absolutely no regrets. The pill was wrecking me in ways I didn't even know until I went off it. Now I feel safer stuck in a red state. And it's just a huge anxiety relief. I hope your recovery is speedy and easy. Mine was rough, but it's because I was freaking out about being able to feel my incisions whenever I moved. Lol. I'm a baby. But I got through it. After a week the soreness goes away. I never even needed my pain meds. Are you worried about early menopause? I was talking to my gyno about sterilization and suggested salpingectomy but she said removing the ovaries would stop my estrogen production. She suggested partial hysterectomy, leaving the ovaries in place but stopping periods. Not telling you what to do because I'm still not sure myself what I want to do exactly. Would be interested to hear your thoughts. My 19-year-old daughter did it in December. I am sorry you both have to do this. If you ever decide you want children in the future I am sure there will be plenty of them to choose. From no thanks to the GOP. It is very sad news. The fact that politics forces people to undergo surgery. Just to protect their lives and health. Remember everyone, do not have sex with conservatives. My follow-up later this month after a TV US discovered cysts and fibroids fucking with T. Now includes a Bizalp consultation. I'm over 40 and scared of ever becoming pregnant. Para Eard was. Up to a few months ago. Fine. I've had it five years. Congrats. The only downside that I can think of is that all the stupid people are having babies. It's a shame that the choice has been taken away to have children. To those of us who wanted another have to sterilize just to prevent the possibility of death. From treatable complications. Good luck, Yarl. Leaving Texas wasn't an option. I'm in New York and I'm still going to have my tubes tied after I have our next kid. Which I'm currently pregnant with because I wanted to have it before the next our president comes. Into office. I absolutely believe the feds will enact a ban as soon as the R's have control of Congress and the presidency again. And I'm not willing to potentially leave my kids orphans and my husband a widow because I can't. Access needed healthcare because of someone else's religion morals. Same. Scheduling hours as soon as we move out of our red state. Early 30s, 
no kids. <laughs>